Alrighty folks, so I've been working on this cinder fender here. This is the driver's side. And uh, just trying to clean everything up, get everything down to good clean bare metal. And this cinder fender definitely ain't perfect. But it is going to have some pits in it here and there as you can see. And a little bit right there, going to have a little bit back here. But you really won't see that too awful bad. Because when we bulked all this up to the 57 Bel Air, you won't have to really worry about that. But I got a uh, few little pits here and there, but I'm not too worried about it. But I'm going to actually go over this fender and some of these bolt holes and screw holes we may not need. So, uh, you know, we got one right here. I might weld that up shut. And uh, like I said, we're going to use the 57 Bel Air, so some of these bolt holes we may not need. Now, we obviously, we're going to need the ones that bolts to the fender there, and they will have to have all these. Obviously, i got to replace them clips. That clip is broke. That one's broke. But not a big deal there. But like I said, it is, it's got some pits in it, but I think it'll clean up. But this section, I just left it alone because I'm going to probably end up remaking all that. So this whole section from right around that second uh, bead right there, pretty much forward, is going to have to be replaced. Well, actually, we'll probably replace this whole strip all along here. But it, it's going to be some more work in it for sure. I think I can salvage this bead. Maybe. I don't know. I'd like to save that. And uh, maybe we'll cut that off and just remake that and reweld it back on to try and salvage some of the original look. But it, it's got some serious rust, so that's the main area. That's where the battery tray actually sits, believe it or not. But we're going to remake that, and uh, it's going to be some some tedious work, but I think we can do it. And uh, I might have to put a little patch in right here too. So, some of it I'm not, like the pits back in here, I'm not worried about. You won't really see them. But pretty much from where it's flat and it curves up all the way forward, you will see. So, I will try and fix all these pits on it and straighten it up. And I'm probably, the voltage regulator mounts right here, I'm probably going to take in weld those up. Because I'm planning on putting a, uh, you know, a Dodge Magnum 360 in it with the four speed and I'm probably going to end up running like a GM style alternator on it or either I might run a Chrysler one wire alternator but regardless it's going to get a one wire alternator and uh, like I said I'm not this car is not going to be nowhere near original this is a custom tribute car is what I would call it so we might weld these up there I think these two holes down here somebody's going to probably know for sure but I think two of them might be for the windshield washer bag I, I can't say for sure but i know part of this is for the battery i do have one that's a little better than that but you know, we got some serious pinholes here but it came from kentucky and i'll just say they weren't worth what i paid for them but again it's all what you want so i'm not playing about them but you know they, they weren't worth what i give i'll say that so but i'm happy with them i just wish they could have been a little bit better but that's all right but i had to fight tooth and nail with these things and i'm going to be fighting tooth and nail again fixing all this rust and rot but that's kind of expected so we'll probably fix that and i'll probably just make this whole piece here so you almost gonna have to but not a big deal. I'm going to try and salvage this bead or either I'll make one myself. But I really don't want to lose that and I don't want to lose the original, you know, how this thing curves originally. It's got the little 90 degree right here. I don't want to lose that. And then I think it's got a couple bolt holes. Yeah, it's got a little bend back here too. And it's actually supposed to be two bolt holes right here too. It's one about right here. And it's another one right about here that holds the battery tray on. So I'll have to, when I remake that, I'll put them holes back in there. But i got a couple staples I want to shave off here. Like I said, I just started cleaning it up and threw a little primer on it just to see what's what with it. And, uh, you know, just peeling around with it to see how bad it is. But I think it's going to clean up fairly decent here. So I got a little bit of area down here i got to straighten out. But uh, it's not terrible. Some pretty heavy pitting right there. And it's pretty heavily right in here. 
that's where a lot of dirt and mud and everything sits so you might end up replacing that little section too but i don't like having 50 million you know patches in this stuff i don't but you know you gotta do what you gotta do so but we're definitely working on it here so this is i haven't even started on the other ender fender yet and i still got to get back on my door here i'm going to fix that up and straighten that out but i'm just trying to you know fiddle around here and there on stuff figure it out but but i had to look through some pictures again and figure out what's what make sure see what holes we need and what we don't need and probably going to weld a lot of these little holes shut and be done with it it's like this hole right here I'm not 100% sure if we need that or not, but I know we need these obviously because this bolts to your firewall here So you got three bolt holes. Well actually four. You got four bolt holes right there that bolt to a Channel I guess you would call it on the uh, firewall those we can't you know can't mess with that But you got this hole right here. I'm not sure about I'm not sure about that one So we might end up welding them up So and I'm definitely going to shave these holes off there Probably shave those there. Maybe. I don't know. But I know the voltage regulator. Them three right here are definitely for the voltage regulator. And the headlight wire harness, you can't shave that off. The headlight wire actually goes through there. So it goes through there and then comes around to the other side. But uh yeah, like I said, this fender ain't done yet. But everywhere it's primed is bare metal, so it's it's cleaning up. It's cleaning up. It's not done. I'm just to rough it in just kind of see what's what with it but i think once we replace this section right here it'll be fairly decent so that's the worst of the right and this one over here is a little, uh, a little better but not much but we'll have to figure out what's what oh, here's the other piece to the fender so i have to remake that yeah here it is yeah i believe it's supposed to curve that's not right. Yeah, it goes like this. Yeah, it must have had a curve or something into it. So I had to remake that. So not a big deal. But most of the inner fender is intact. It's, I mean, it, it's, it's rough. I'll definitely say it wasn't worth what I paid for it. But it's, you know, it's, it's fixable fender. We can fix it. It's just going, it's going to take some time. But let's see, we got a dent down here. I'll have to hammer that out but, but yeah this is the other ender fender here and i'm gonna probably have some time in this one too this one's not as terrible but this one the reason this one survived a little better is because there's no battery tray or anything on it so this one held up much better so and yeah this one's got the four bolt holes one right there, and two, three, four for the go to the uh, channel on the side of the firewall. I do have this piece right here. It's a little better. So this one, I don't know if it was, might have been stamped like that. I think it was. But I think the stamping's a little better right in there on the other one. So I might use that one. I don't know. But yeah, your headlight wire is supposed to go through here. This is like a caulk. You want to see what the factory color was on these other fenders? I think it's actually a gloss black, believe it or not. Well, it was a semi-gloss, but no. It's like a... It might be semi-gloss. Yeah, I'd say it's a semi-gloss. That's the original factory color right there. Pretty cool. See the original 1957. I guess it's like a semi-gloss, so it's probably what I'll paint them back. But yeah, obviously you can see somebody's done painting them. You know, they, look at that. Look at that. The factory paint's kind of decent there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's the color of them. So they like a semi-gloss. I think this one will clean up fairly decent. So, pretty happy with them. I mean, it's got some pits here and there, but again, you know, I'm not trying to 
I don't like using the word restore, but I'm trying to save these fenders because they're kind of rare, and, and I want to fix them right. But but they are usable. This one's going to, I think the worst of the rust on this one, again, is just on the bottom down here. So I think we can, we can live with that. We can fix it. I don't think it'd be too big to deal to make that little section there. But it's definitely going to have some pits for sure. So, yep. There must be an access hole right there. That one's got a screw in it. That one's got a clip. So, this side does not. So, maybe it's supposed to be the, the little screw there. I don't know. That's what it looks like. I have to figure it out. So, maybe I won't weld them up. I'll figure it out. But I'm sure you're baiting the video. is like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't weld them up. There's a screw hole. Yeah, it must have held it in there, I guess. But we'll figure it out. But either way, I might not put the screw back in there anyway. I might end up just uh, throwing a couple tacks on the back side of that here. If I have to, that's what this looks like right here. Now they're already there, so it's not gonna fall out. There is a bracket right here. I gotta figure out exactly how that goes. Both of them do have the brackets, thank God. But I gotta figure out exactly how that mounted. But, yeah. And we're gonna clean up both sides of the cinder fender, so we'll clean it up real good. Not, you know, terrible, but it's, it's definitely going to need some straightening out. But, but that's what we got here. So, and I believe these inner fenders are the same for 57 and 58, except for the uh, passenger side. And that one, obviously, it's got that. It's either got that piece that bolts on or it doesn't. You know, it's simple as that but it wouldn't be that hard. I'm sure if you had a 57 fender like that, that you could take that piece off, shave it off, and you could recreate that and just weld that in, I guess, if you want to convert it to a one piece, but I, I'm not gonna do that. But it's got the access panel there. So, but that's what, uh, that's what I got there. So we're gonna clean it up. And again, it's kind of no point, a little pointless. And I priming that and even spending time trying to clean this up. I probably will clean this up from down here a little bit, but it ain't I'm not gonna spend any time trying to clean all that up. But uh yeah, I'll have to make that back up. We'll come in from right probably about right here, roughly. I know it's got pits back here, I'm not worried about them, they're fairly light. But uh from right about here, probably completely up, we'll just replace the whole thing. And I might be able to save this. I don't know. Might end up making the whole thing. We'll see. But regardless, this is going to have to be replaced because that's, you know, your battery's got to go there. It's got to have some strength in there. So, and I am going to pull this off and get this bracket off here. Just little things like that. Get that clip off there and there. Get that bracket off back there. So we're working on it. We're working on it. I just figured I'd show this. So trying to, you know, do one set at a time. So we gotta, I'm gonna go back to my fender here. I know I kind of work in a circle. So you uh, work on my fender, then I'll work on the inner fender, and then might work on the hood a little bit. And it's just, you know, then work on the door. But I just like, you know, doing stuff like that. I like to, you know, like skipping around a little bit, and see what's what. But. Yeah, clean this up just a little bit more, but I started going in here and did this back side too, so I'm getting it cleaned up. And I gotta do the rest of the, all that through there yet, but I started cleaning it up on this side, so. But everything's gonna be even the inside here. Everything's gonna be taken down to bare metal, good clean bare metal, so. Everything when you paint it will adhere good and yeah, it'll just look better, get a lot better, get a much higher outcome. And uh, I've got my building. I might take this stuff and uh, maybe when fall comes, we might 
I could go ahead and paint the inner fenders and the radiator support, but I want to hold off on the hood and fenders because we're probably going to have to take that stuff off, you know, 20 million times. So I don't know. I could go on and paint the radiator support and the inner fenders, but we'll see. But we're going to have to mock everything up, I'm sure, 20 million times on the Bel Air to make this stuff work. So, but. I'm supposed to go go to uh, my buddy's place. He's got some 57 Bel Air headlights there. He's got the buckets. And I'm going to pull the buckets out of it. And we're going to mount those in there and see how it looks. And uh, how it's going to work. Because, you know, good luck trying to find original 57 Plymouth you know, headlight buckets. Everything that, you know, goes in there. Good luck on that. So I'll probably find, uh, probably just end up using 57 Bel Air headlight buckets because it's the same size headlights, you know, just regular 7 inch headlights. All that should be the same. The trim rings are probably fairly close. The one might be a little wider than the other, but you're really not going to notice that too much. But uh, again, this is going to be a 100% you know, a custom Ford look tribute car, is what I would call, I would call it. And uh, I don't want no Christine. But I'm sure somebody could take my idea and they'll probably end up, you know, taking the 57 Bel and turn it into a Christine. I'd like to do that myself. But, yep. All right, so I'm blabbing on here. I'm going to get back at it and we'll probably start cutting this out too in the uh, next couple videos and start remaking it. So, and then we'll have some videos. We'll get our fender wrapped up in the meantime and we'll get back on our door too. But, so we're getting there. See y'all later. Bye.